Sally here and today I'm going to tell you about my class that I my last class I took at Creativation and it was called leather molding and um, it was using this real leather craft line here's what it looks like um, and this was just cut into a leaf shape and a feather this was just extra that was given to us to play with and so we were making this flower that was um, to look like a magnolia and so I have already shaped these and I had shaped this but it kind of didn't hold its shape um, so I'm going to redo it so we used this tool that has this part is to like if you have etched a line if you want to remove it it can kind of um, get rid of that line and then the other end has a little a little ball on it let's see Woo! there we go and so we just use that to draw these lines on our piece on sorry on all three pieces so there was two larger um, petal shapes and then this smaller one and I had wanted to um, you could do it to where they were just all three stacked like this with the smaller one like this or you could make it look you know have this more closed so it looked like that and I wanted that but it um, we didn't quite have enough time to finish it so I thought I would show you how this was shaped because it really lost its shape on the trip home um, so the leather needs to be wet so I'm just gonna and she said you can re-wet it but there is a limited amount of times you can re-wet it before it kind of gets cracked and just doesn't work right so that might be that's pretty wet that's probably too much water I'll kind of Sop that up a little bit here. And hopefully that will be all right. And so we took a ping pong ball and put it in the middle of the petal and then just kind of um, pulled it. Or, well, let's see, she had us like hold it like this. And I had a really hard time with it. And I don't know what I was doing wrong. But if you kind of maybe hold it and kind of yank it a little, kind of get that cup shape. And then it kind of holds it. And so let's try that with this one. Now that I have my petals shaped, then I just need to bring them up like this. And oh shoot, my cup is too big. Oh, I wonder if I have something tinier. But anyway, you would leave it in the cup like this, but you need like a little tiny Dixie cup thing. I wonder if I cut out the bottom and I could leave it like that. Or maybe I could just leave it like that. That should work. Maybe. <laughs> maybe it will stay balanced on there. And you just leave it in the shape that you want it to dry. We used some hair dryers to dry ours. So um, you could do that. Um, and then you just glue the petals together. But I think It'll be easier to paint them so we have this um, real leather acrylic leather paint and so I think I'll paint the petals before I glue them together 
because then, because you need to paint both sides and I think it would be a lot easier to do when they're not together. And then we just had this, this center. So it was just a long strip with fringe and we just rolled it up again when it was damp. And uh, this will be the center. So I think I'll just, I think I'll just um, kind of glue this end. Let's see, where's my, let me. Okay, I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac. She used um, hot glue or was gonna use hot glue there. I don't, she says it works well on leather, but I'm not a huge fan of hot glue. And Fabri-Tac says it works on leather. So I'm just gonna glue this end. There we go. Because I'll be, you know, I'll be gluing the bottom to the and you know inside the flower so I'm gonna let that dry and then let's see while that's drying I could be painting these flowers let's see if there's a nope okay so I'm just gonna put some on this plate Oh, darn, tipped, knocked off my little center there. I wonder if I put it around the ball, if that will... Maybe that will help. Okay, so... Let's see how this goes. Better do this front side before I do a second coat because I've got those edges that might not look good if they dry like that. The front side of the leather is much easier to paint.
Okay, so that one aside, and I'll do the same thing with this one and be back. All right, so I am done painting these larger flower petals. I did three coats on the right side and then two coats on the back. I figure that didn't matter as much. I need to do a little fixing of the edges, looks like. But uh, I think that will be enough. Is the two coats, or three coats on this side, two coats on the other. And so while I'm waiting for my center to still dry here, I'm going to do, I'm sorry, the center petals, I'm going to do the center of the flower. So I'm going to paint it yellow, and what I decided to do was get these tweezers and grab the center, you know, one a part of the of the center that I'm not going to paint and hold it that way. Oh, whoops, I forgot to get my paint. So this is just yellow of the leather paint. And gosh, I don't even need to squeeze them. But I probably will when I get painting. So I'm just gonna do my best here to get this. This might have been easier to do. Well, I guess you couldn't roll it when it's dry. But I'll just do my best here to get this all painted. good for the first coat so I'll let that dry and do either one or two more coats depending on what I think it needs and I don't know about this I might uh, well I'm afraid if I try to do the hair dryer it won't keep its shape so it might be a little while before this guy dries because I got it pretty wet but uh, she said you can do it without it being bone dry but it still feels pretty damp. So I may just let that dry for quite a while, maybe even till tomorrow, and then finish it up. So I'll be back when I have more progress made. I have finished painting all of my pieces. So I painted two coats on the back side and then three coats on the, on the top side. Um, so I have finished shaping my center, which I think dried pretty good, and painted my very center. And so I'm just going to glue all these pieces together with my Fabri-Tac. So I'm going to put the one that has the not quite as much of the um, lines that I put in there. And I'm just going to offset this hold that together and then glue this in the middle kind of offset that as well and then glue on this middle that right in there. That one might be harder to squeeze. Okay, and that is my flower. So I think it looks really pretty. Um, the last step is to seal it with an acrylic sealer. So any of them will work. Um, so I have some spray on sealer that I'll go outside and spray on here and it will protect it and make it shiny and look pretty and so um, I'll do that and be back. I have now sealed this. Oh I meant to bring the bottle but it was a Krylon I believe. 
acrylic spray sealer. And I just did one coat. I don't think I need another one and let it dry for 30 minutes. And I put it on some cardboard and it uh, stuck. So uh, learn from my mistake and use like a, a nonstick mat or something to let it dry on. And uh, yeah, cause it tore the paint off. But you know, I'm not too worried about it. I could probably just touch that up real quick. But um, I think it turned out really pretty. So the teacher of the class, Annie Libertini, is uh, a wonderful leather artist. She has made some really beautiful and amazing things. And I'll put some pictures of her things that I took at the show in here. So she also told us that she had made some of the masks for the movie, oh goodness, Gotham. So um, those are her masks that she made that are in that movie and they look really cool. And so uh, I think that she said this was goat leather. So it's really thin, very flexible. So you could easily cut out shapes on your Cricut and, or uh, I don't know about the silhouette because I don't have one, but we also saw Aileen Hole demonstrating for this um, real leather, and she dampened the leather and then ran it through an embossing folder, and it made a great impression. So, you know, these would be fun to put um, impressions on and use them as an embellishment for something. She also uh, cut out with um, one of those Biggs dies, some fun shapes and made a little journal and a little book. She made some really cute things. I'll leave a link to the video on Lolly Palooza's channel of, of um, her demoing that at Creativation. So that is all the classes that I took and they were so fun. I learned so much and um, got great products and am so inspired to make and create and get out of my comfort zone. So I am very happy with my little flower. I think it, yeah, it's really cool, you know? So it was fun. It was good to learn a new thing. So that does it. Thanks for watching.